there, welcome to Shippo. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of our site just to get you started. This is the shipments page. This is where all of your labels are gonna live once you start creating labels in Shippo. This is also where you'll be able to find the tracking information for your labels and request a refund on any labels that you don't use. The orders page is where your order data will be stored. It's where you'll start when you actually wanna create a label. There are a couple ways to get orders into Shippo. First, you can sync your actual store with the Shippo website. So if you have Shopify, BigCommerce, Weebly, or another platform that Shippo supports, you can connect your store right to Shippo. If you don't have one of those platforms, you can also use the import CSV option that uploads an Excel spreadsheet of your order data, or you can simply create orders one by one manually. The carriers page is where you're going to find the information about the carriers linked to your Shippo account. All Shippo accounts come with access to Shippo's discounted USPS and DHL Express accounts. That's how we get you those great rates. We also have Parcel Force activated for our UK customers. If you want to add your own carrier to Shippo, such as FedEx or UPS, click Add Share Carrier Account, click the carrier you'd like, and enter the information requested. The Connect page will show you your store information. If you do have one of those stores I mentioned connected, you can edit the connection here or add additional stores. The Billing page is where all your financial information is going to live in Shippo. You can enter your credit card information here or you can change it once you've added a credit card. You'll also see any Shippo invoices you've received listed out here. The settings page is an important one. It's where you can change your label format. The default is 8.5 by 11 PDF, so that's just for standard inkjet or laser jet printers. If you use a thermal label printer like a Dymo, you can switch that to the 4 by 6 inch PDF and get the right setting for your label printer. You can also add text to your labels like thank you for shipping with us, or you can add the order number, and that'll be unique on each label. You can set your default packaging here. If you use the same box size every time, you don't want to type it in, you can put in those dimensions here and save that. Or if you know you use USPS flat rate boxes every time, you can also save that. You can set a default weight if you're shipping the same weight every time. You can also auto-create return labels so that every label you create in Shippo, a return label will also be created. The account tab is where you can change your address information. This address information you see here is for your sender address, so that's going to be used to actually calculate the shipping. You want to make sure that's accurate so you get the right rates. If you don't want that address to be used on the return label, however, you can change your return address so that that displays something different if you have a different return address from the address you're shipping from. The account page is also where you can update your email address and password. Anytime you make changes on any of these pages, just make sure you're hitting Save Changes at the bottom of the page. If you have any more questions, you can take the tour down here. You can also visit our Help Center right here. There's a lot of great articles in there to help you get started with Shippo. You can always email me as well, support at goshippo.com. My name's Susanna, always happy to help.